Hi, my name is Sebastian Kogev, and today we are going to talk about continuous integration, delivery, and deployment. What is continuous integration, delivery, and deployment? Many people think it's related to some tools, scripts, servers, but it's actually a process. A process that is very similar to Scrum in that way that it relies on rapid iterations and quick feedback. So, what is it? Well, it's actually in the name. It's continuous. This means that it's something happening periodically, consistently taking actions over time. It's a process where we continuously deliver new code and new features to our clients, our team members, and our applications. Let's take a closer look at the continuous integration process. The continuous integration is more closely related to the development process. Too often, a developer starts implementing a big feature. This feature will require a lot of time and a lot of code changes to implement. In the end, the developer will have a really hard time integrating with the main application because his version of the application will deviate a lot from the main application. His changes may break the main application in unknown ways. That is why the continuous integration process encourages developers to develop their features in small chunks that are continuously integrated with the main application. That way, it can be easier to integrate at the end. The process normally includes an automated build, test, and analysis tools that will make sure your partially developed feature don't affect the main application too much. The process also helps the team provide feedback even before the feature is complete. Now that we know what continuous integration is, let's see what a continuous delivery and deployment is. The process tries to deliver your latest state of the application to different groups of people. The process can be manually or automated, but the goal is to deliver the latest state of your application with greater frequency and speed. This way, the desired feedback can come much faster. An example of such process can be if a latest state of the application is delivered to a testing environment so the quality assurance team can verify bugs and fixes, and every night it's delivered to product owner team and every week is delivered to clients that are enrolled in the insider preview of your application. This process is used by many applications, including Windows, for example. As the continuous integration process, the continuous delivery and deployment is also backed by automated tools. These tools can verify that your application is stable, it can check for spelling errors, business logic, and other critical things that can verify your application and make sure the end users don't experience critical failures. Some of the benefits of this approach can be accelerated time to market, improved efficiency, more stable releases, improved client satisfaction, and receiving faster feedback. Some obstacles can be if there is some domain restrictions like in the healthcare industry, where they required more stable finished applications that are extremely well tested. Also, if we lack automated tests, or if some tests require human oracle to perform. That was an overview of the continuous integration, deployment, and delivery processes. I hope you like it, and stay tuned for more man-to-man -man experience.